Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So I want to thank each and everyone for giving us support from week 1 to week 12. So guys, I hope you continue this forever. So please subscribe our channel like this forever and keep supporting us guys. And definitely like the video and please share that with your friends and watch the full video because uh, if you skip the video, you may miss some content. So do watch full video. So this is week 12 assignment for the course programming in Java. So this is last week, last assignment for this course for this season. So guys, we are trying very hard we are working very hard to give you these most probable solutions guys so please support us definitely like the video so let's see the first question what is the output of the below code segment so i have guys uh, i have did all the questions in my compiler so i have got solutions for most of the questions so let's see the first question they are asking the output right so they have given the program here and they are asking the output of this question. So for first question, I have got there are two errors. So one is regarding this one guys, B. There is no such character called B. Both are A, right? And if you are adding A here, there are two values for A. One is an integer 2 and there is another one character. So it, uh, the compiler cannot decide whether to choose character or integer. So in these two places, the locations will get the error. So there are two errors. So let me erase this first. So these are completely my probable solutions guys. If there are any changes that comes to my notice, I will definitely update that in the comment section. So before final submission, once again, check the comment section guys. And if you found any changes to be made, Please give your opinion positively in the comment section. So for first question, the answer is option D. Now let's move on to the second question. Second one. What is the output of the below code segment? Most of these questions, most of the questions given in this assignment all were based on output based output based questions only. So let's tackle these questions now. So for second question, I have got the answer as option B 24. Output is 24. Output 24 is the output we will get. So mark option B guys. Now let's move on to the third question. So third question. So before getting into this third question, I want to make a small announcement guys from week one onwards. We are giving this right. So we have brought to you exam preparation MCQs for the course programming in Java. So with nearly five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected and prepared these questions guys. So we have brought to you two packs, two PDF packs, savings pack and super savings pack. Both of these are Google Drive PDF MCQs. You will get access via a Google Drive link. So in the savings pack, you will get 150 MCQs and the price is double, 300 rupees. And up to three members can access this. Whereas coming to the super savings pack, the name itself tells you super savings pack, you can save more here because here you are getting double that of 150. That means 300 MCQs, but the price is not doubled compared to the savings pack because the savings pack price is 300, but here the price is not doubled, not 600. It is just 500 rupees only. Here the MCQs are getting doubled and the price is not getting doubled. So you can save a lot by taking this 300 MCQs pack and that too, you'll get 300 huge number of MCQs. So you'll get better practice compared to this savings pack. So my suggestion is it's better to take 300 MCQs pack for 500 rupees and up to five members can access once you take with 500 rupees pack guys. So five members can share that once you make a payment of 500 rupees and you uh, take this 300 MCQs pack, you can share all these 300 MCQs with up to five members can access this same pack for the combined price of 500 rupees only already many students have taken our pack guys so 
we have been coming into this last week so time is getting shortened so exam date is fast approaching so if you prepare uh, from now it will be easy for you for the final day preparation right so there is high topic coverage most of the syllabus will be co uh, covered here and search option is also available no need to watch each and every question you can directly search which question you want and it is also easy to revise because you can easily scroll the pdf pages right so even within uh, one hour you can i think you can scroll the pdf so it's combination guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for guys so please mail me only if you want to purchase guys otherwise for any other doubts no need to message me to my email id you can directly ask your doubt positively in the youtube comments itself only if you want to buy then only put send the message to this email id guys already many students have taken our pack and got benefited so this is the email id guys i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section box right so here it is a summary guys so 150 mcqs you will get for 300 and 300 huge number of mcqs for just 500 rupees only my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because already many students have taken this only so now let's get back to the solutions so third question what is the output of the below code segment so for third question the answer i have got is option c guys four five six seven eight so option C is the correct answer for third equation. So let me erase this first. Now moving on to the fourth question. The fourth one. What is the output of the following code? So they have given the program and asking the output. So for fourth question, the correct answer that I have got is option B, all zeros. So mark option B. Next, moving on to the fifth question. The fifth one. So what should be the value of Z for the output to be 12? So here in this line in the while loop, they have given Z, right? So instead of that Z, which of the following given number, that mean uh, which of the following number mentioned in the options should be replaced with Z so that the output, final output should be 12. So I did this in my compiler, guys. So when I did this, I have got let me erase this first so yeah so when i did this i have got the answer as 20 guys that means if the z value is 20 then we will get the final output for this program as 12 guys so mark option c option c Next, moving on to the sixth question. Sixth one. Consider the following program. So they have given a program, right? Small code, and they're asking the output for that. So for sixth question, so when I did this, I didn't get any output. So I'm going with option A, no output. So mark option A guys. Next moving on to the seventh question. Seventh one. Consider the following program. So they have given a code and they are asking the output. So what is the output of the following program? So for the seventh question I have got the answer as option b capital p program guys so the in program the word program the first letter should be capital p but whereas in option d it is also program but the first letter is small p so the answer is capital p program so mark option b guys 
let me erase this first so yeah the, the answer is option b now moving on to the eighth question the eighth one so before getting into this eighth question i want to make one more small announcement guys so that is regarding so this one guys youtube membership videos exam preparation videos guys so here you will get part one and part two videos for java for just 119 rupees only but it is youtube membership guys it is available only in video format not pdf and it is also for only for one person and it is valid for one month so if you want to purchase this pack just go to our youtube channel no need to message me first you can directly go to our youtube channel guys you can search s kumar edu in the search box like this our uh, channel logo will appear like this so beside the subscribe button there is join button right so click on that join button so a tab will appear like this you can select third one guys only 119 per month pack so only click on that then only you will get access for the remaining packs you will not get access so click on this 119 per month pack that is live stream members only pack so click on that and again there is join button right then click again click on this blue color join button right so then after making payment you will get access to all our members only videos so here you can see members only tag for every video and if you see so there are many videos uploaded here and programming in java part 2 is also there right and there is part 1 also more videos are there we cannot show this more than these number of videos here there is a lot more videos prepared by us so this is part 2 of programming in java course here you can see that right so here guys part part 2 made and part 1 is also made you can expand this video so we have many videos so you'll get all these videos for 119 only not one video 119 you can get if you take 119 119 pack once you'll get access to all of our videos so exam date is fast approaching guys so if you are one person and if you want only video version you can take this but my suggestion is it's better to take take this 300 mcqs pdf pack pdf pack because you can easily search any equation and you can save time also so my suggestion is it's better to take 300 mcqs pack for just 500 rupees only up to five members can access once you make payment of 500 guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for any of these pdf packs only if you want the video version then you can directly go to our channel and you can uh, directly join our as a member of our channel otherwise if you want pdf packs message me to this email id many students have preferred this pdf pack only guys it's your wish we will respect your decision so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so eighth question so they are simply this is a syntax question syntax based question so which of the following are correct statement for array declaration array declaration So for eighth question, I have got two probable solutions, guys. The first one is option C, float braces space f1. F1 means character, right? Float mean the float data type, the variable is equals new space float of three. So this is one thing, and the other one is option D, guys. Float just the variable is placed before the brace that's it so both are valid one only so mark option c and option d let me erase this first so marking option c and option d as correct answers for eighth question now let's move on to the ninth one ninth one so they have given the large piece of code guys here compared to the previous questions So finally they are asking what is the result if the above uh, mentioned program is executed simply they are asking the output so when I did this I have got the answer as option B finally space exception space finally space finished so mark option B guys so option B is the correct answer 
now let's move on to the final equation so final equation that is 10th equation of this assignment as well as the final equation of for this season of course programming in java this is the last question guys so if you see here carefully they are asking what should be the value of x and y for the output of the below program to be 36 that means they are asking if we execute this program then we should get the answer as 36 I mean the output as 36 but they have given if you see here so they have given the options here the combination of x and y values respectively but in this program they have given x value 10 and y value 5 so here we should replace this x and y values with these respective given options so then we should get the answer as 36 right so when i did this i have got for all these options so let me draw this so for all these combinations i have got the output as 40 but not 36 so i think it's their mistake by giving the uh, wrong combination of answers so i think they will give you free mark right so i'm not sure uh, about the rule but definitely for all this combination of options i did not got any I did not get 36 answer but I have got 40 answer so I'm not giving the solution for this I think it's their fault at their end so they may give uh, additional mark for you I think so that's it guys for this video so think about these MCQs already many students have taken for the preparation already many students started preparation also so don't be backward guys be ahead of others so Take our 300 MCQs back. It will benefit for you in the preparation for the final exam. So this is the email ID you have to mail me for guys. You will get a huge number of 300 MCQs for just 500 rupees only. So this is the email ID guys. And if you want only video format, you can directly go to our channel page guys. And you can click on this subscribe, I mean join button and you can join our channel. So that's it guys. So if you got benefited through our channel genuinely then please keep subscribe our channel forever guys and definitely like the video then only our video will appear in suggestions for other students also and it will help them also like you and they will also get benefited like you so and please share that within your whatsapp student groups and definitely try to take our pdf mcq spec guys 300 mcq spec or uh, 150 mcq spec my suggestion is it's better to take 300 mcq spec so that's it guys for this video so hopefully we'll meet in the next video so that's it so until the next video goodbye thank you